So here we are at the end of 2020, and we're going to wrap up this year with our top three favorite projects on Tabletop That, and then a brief discussion of what we expect to do in 2021. Okay, take your hand back down, bring it up to the orange, and then take it back down. Perfect. Project number three, Modular Signs. This was a fantastic project, mainly because it opened my eyes to the possibilities of magnets. And since I started using them, I found people who had used them in some pretty ingenious ways as well. So it's something I look forward to doing in the future. And as you can see here, you can switch your signs between different bases or even pick different types of signs to put into your uh, scatter tray. Sound effect as well. No, we're good. Bring it up just a little bit more. Three, two, one. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. My second favorite project, fiery braziers. This is the first project where I used a lot of different techniques and materials that were new to me. Starting out with my jeweler's anvil, which was my favorite purchase for this past year as part of my crafting supplies and tools. Um, here I'm pounding out a copper plate to make it rounded out for the brazier. I also used LEDs for the first time to light up the braziers, and then I also used this technique with a glue gun for the first time, where you're making uh, flames using the hot glue. And I'm just putting this over top of the LED. It worked out really well, I thought, particularly after you painted it. Uh, a little bit of red, orange, and yellow, along with the light, and it comes out looking really good. And I think that looks great. I put a couple accents around uh, the base of the brazier with a couple of skulls. Really sells the effect. My second favorite project. So and number one is, of course, Bone Grinder. This was the largest project I did this last year, and it was the one that was the most challenging. Um, I really like the final build, and I think it looks really good on the table. And while not perfect, it was a lot of fun to do. I used the book for inspiration and really tried to get as close to what they had in The Curse of Strahd when I built this out. The first challenge, of course, was coming up with a jig so that I could cut circles out of the foam to build the basic structure, which is just a bunch of cylinders. And that worked out pretty well. The next step was really to start building it. I put the structure together and then the first piece I decided to work on was the windmill blades themselves. And while I thought this was gonna be difficult, it turned out to be easier than I thought and it came together pretty quickly, honestly. Um, I used bamboo skewers to build out the structure. And then I did each one of the blades separately and individually gave them all, all their own unique look and feel. Uh, while keeping similar to the others. And then a little bit of paint. And then I turned to some of my earlier work to come up with the cloth that goes over the blades of the windmill. And here I use just the 50-50 PVA to water combination on top of some paper tiles. And that turned out really well. This was probably the most time consuming part of the process was drawing in each one of these individual stones. If I had to do this over again, um, it would take just about as long, maybe less time, and just actually cut individual stones and glue them on. Uh, I think that would look better. 
there were two parts of this that were interesting to do, to say the least. Uh, one was the door and the other was the overhang. Now, the overhang just took a lot of time because, honestly, I think it's a, cut a little bit too shallow. It should have jutted out just a little bit more. And um, I made sure I painted the structure before I put those into place so that I could get underneath them without any trouble. The door was actually pretty easy and I have a separate video that shows how to make doors like this one. And then pretty much after that I was just cutting out a space for it and gluing it on and it uh, turned out pretty well. This is my favorite part of the build and that is the platform that goes around the second floor. It's just a lot of fun building out little details like this where you are carving in texture into the floorboards and little broken cuts on the edges of them and then building out each one and gluing it on individually. I think it turned out really well and probably my favorite part of this piece. Probably the biggest headache I had building out bone grinder was the uh, roof and this was self-inflicted I wanted to try to use wood and cut it out because I thought it would give it a really nice 3d looking feel but um, I think one of the commenters on this video was correct I would have gotten just as good if not better results using thin cardboard to cut out the shingles and maybe strips and line those up and paint them and it would have been so much easier and I think it would still look really good if not better. Um, I'm glad I did it though because you know I tried a new technique and it gave me the gave me the experience to know that I don't want to do this again. With everything coming together it was just a matter of a little touch up with some dry brushing and all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, a final black wash over the whole piece, putting the windmill blades into place. And at this point, I'm really excited because it's pretty much at the end. I decided to add a little bit of moss as accents, and it really sells the effect of a really old and dilapidated windmill on top of the hill. Anyway, those are my three favorite picks for 2020. And moving into 2021, I think we're going to try to do fewer projects, but spend more time on the tutorial part and doing better builds. So put down that bowl of Alfredo sauce, roll up your sleeves, and let's get to crafting. Perfect. And that's it for 2020. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And um, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, have fun and keep crafting. <laughs>